Hey everyone, welcome to another By the Lakeside vlog. I have a really special day planned today and I thought it'd be really fun to take you guys along with me. is still here and we are sitting by the fire doing some knitting. We are wearing our Cozy Knitter Advent socks from two years ago? 2019. Mm -hmm. I'm just working on my sock. I've made a ton of progress tonight. And Eric is working on his hat. Which I cast on today. We're still wearing our shawls. Yes, they're very cozy. And I'm loving it. 
and I'm kind of hungry. I think I need a snack. So I think I'm going to have another slice of pizza, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to say goodnight for now, and I will see you guys tomorrow. It's the next morning. I've got myself ready for the day. And I was just packing up my tote bag because I have quite a few errands to run today. Going to try to get them done quickly and squeeze in another visit with Eric because we kind of ran out of time yesterday and he's got the afternoon off. And so I plan on popping by his place this afternoon to just have a quick coffee and knit a little bit more. And I will take you guys along for the ride today. quick stop at my favorite local yarn shop which is the Knitting Loft in Toronto. I ran into Maria who I just love and she was wearing a gorgeous hand knit kind of slouchy hat so I bombarded her with questions. I got the name of the pattern and she very nicely helped me pick out some yarn and I grabbed the needles for that and the pattern which is actually by her mom Bruna. Bruna and Maria co-own the Knitting Loft together. So I'm really excited about that. I've got a new project to cast on. It is getting really sunny out. It is beautiful. I just picked up a huge roll of fabric for some of my project bags and I have one more errand to run before I just drop in for a quick coffee visit with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> My bestie. <laughs> just sitting with Eric again. Hello. Hello. And this is what I picked up at the Knitting Loft. These two skeins of yarn to make this beautiful vanilla beanie. This is the alpaca from, how do you say this? Is it Isayer? Yes. And the color is called Sky. That would be kind of a beautiful sky actually. And the silk mohair in color 62. And I actually went in because I wanted to pick up a couple more sets of needles for my advent socks. So I'm ready to go for December 1st. And I got completely sidetracked for this little project. So that is going to be a nice little distraction. Maybe this weekend I'll cast that on. And while I was here, Eric just pulled something out. This beautiful hat and I'm kind of in love with it. 
So Eric just passed this hat over to me and quite generously gave it to me and I'm in love with it. It is Brooklyn Tweed. He said ranch. Ranch too. Here, I'm gonna let you. So Eric, tell us about this beautiful hat that you made. It is the Ardenwald pattern from Brooklyn Tweed and it is knit in Ranch 2 Forbes in the escarpment colorway. And it's kind of this brick terracotta color. It's all cables and twisted stitch rib and um, some moss stitch. And it was fun to make, it was totally fun to make, but it truly didn't suit me. So it's been waiting for its new forever home. And I think it's found it. Yay. I'm very happy, I love it. I don't think I would pick this color for myself, but I really love it. It kind of changes from like, what did you say? A it's terracotta, like, but- Sort of like a brick to terracotta. Yeah, but then it's also kind of like, um, like it's in like those- red clay. Yeah, 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 it's really pretty. It's so nice, thank you. You're welcome. And I've been playing around with my new shimmery or sparkly bunny bags and little triangles on Christmas on this Christmas tree here. They look perfect. And I'm also admiring Eric's little decor here with the new trees that we picked up at the nursery yesterday. It looks so pretty in here. So I think I'm going to finish my coffee, have a little visit, and then head home. Thanks, Eric. You're welcome. now and I thought I would share a few more things before I wrap it all up. These are the two plants that I came home with the other day from the nursery. I think they are so pretty. I just need to find the right home for them. I got this really cute little tree. I forget which one it was and this really nice pot that has like a wood grain on the bottom. So I thought that was really pretty. And then this little frosted, I can't remember what this is called, but they always have these um, around Christmas time at the nursery. They are such a cute little gift. And I found this sweet little pot there as well. I also switched out my bag the other day. I just wanted to change things up. And so I'm using my everything tote bag in the sapphire blue color. Which I'm totally in love with. I took this to Eric's house yesterday and so it is packed full of things. I have one of my bunny bags in here with my sock project and my wallet and I use one of these flat pouches, the clutch, for a whole bunch of things that I just kind of move around from bag to bag. So I've got all my little essentials in there and um, oh, my notions pouch is in here too. So I'm just going to tidy this up and then I'm going to share a few things that will be in my shop update for the holidays next week. I wanted to share this beautiful kit that Amanda from Sweet Scan O' Mine has put together. It is called the Holiday Hangover Box. She has a few left in her shop, so I wanted to post about them before you miss them. And it includes one of my bunny bags. I just think it is the perfect treat for yourself after the busy holidays. And it includes this gorgeous hand dyed yarn in the color Holiday Hangover. I love those pops of neon in there. And there's a little stitch marker on there too. 
It comes with this beautiful holiday candle from a white nest, which really does smell like the holidays. A pouch of Lavender Dream bath salts from the Rustic Soap Company. And one of my bunny bags in the Blue Star fabric. So it is a really sweet little box and you can find all the details to find one for yourself down below. Hey everyone, I have been buried in my sewing studio here for the weekend so far. I've just been working away on getting my shop ready for a very big holiday update this coming Friday. So my shop update is planned for Friday, November 26th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am really looking forward to getting some fun new things into the shop, but also replenishing a few things that have sold out recently. So I should have all of the colors of leather scissor sheaths back in stock, as well as my cylinder pouches. I've been really low and sold out on quite a few colors of those. So I'm just trying to make sure that all the leather in all of the colors is restocked and I have some new things to add, which I'm super excited about. So first off, I have my holiday project bags, which I'm completely in love with. It's always so much fun to pick out the fabric for holiday bags every year. And this year I chose this really pretty Christmas ornament print. So this is the small size, which is great for a hat or a pair of socks, even a small cowl. Um, it's quite a roomy project for a small project. It can fit quite a bit in here. And I love this bag because you can fold it over and also use it as a little bucket on your table. So you can just put your project in there, sit it beside you and just have it sort of like a yarn basket. So I'm really loving this print. It has a turquoise zipper and a gold tassel. And those will be in the shop on Friday. I also have some bunny bags that will be coming to the shop. I have a new polka dot fabric and I love this one because it also has the polka dot lining. So I will have a few of these as well. I think these are really handy to just toss into baskets and bags. I am bringing back an old favorite bag of mine. I did kits with Christina from The Cozy Knitter. I think it's been is it two or three years ago. This is the golden hour kit that we did together where I made the project bags and Christina dyed the most beautiful self-striping yarn that coordinates with the bag. So here is the yarn. I am going to have kits as well as, as a few extra bags on their own. So those will be returning to my shop on Friday. I really, really love this fabric. It has a little bit of gold. And I also love that in these stripes, the cream colored stripe or the white stripe has a speckle. I think they are so pretty. I've pulled them out so that I can try to work on them and um, get those off the needles because I think these would be really fun ones to wear. And I've actually been wearing my hand knit socks lately. I don't usually, I never found them that comfortable to wear, but because I'm working at home now, they are kind of cozy to wear around the house. So I've been enjoying that. And it's also motivating me to finish a few pairs so I have a few more options. So in the shop update on Friday, I am very excited about some new metallic leathers. You may have seen them in um, the video clips that I shared from Eric's place because they looked perfect with his tree. So I decided to do a little photo shoot at his place under his little Christmas tree. So I am bringing in a gold metallic leather, rose gold, and a silver. It's quite a deep silver. It might even be more of a pewter or gunmetal, but I think they are absolutely 
beautiful. So they'll be coming to the shop in bunny bags. which I also think would be really cute as an evening bag. If you wanna just go out for the night, you can put a few things and use it like a clutch. And here's the silver. Because I loved them so much, I decided to do some little mini triangles as well. So these are my little triangle pouches, which have not been in my shop for a long time. I just haven't been able to restock them. And um, I finally got around to restocking all of the regular colors that I normally offer in leather, including the new camo. And I thought, how perfect would these little metallic ones be? I think they are really sweet to attach to the D-ring in your tote bag or in your keychain. You can keep change in here. Um, you could keep little notions for your knitting, like your stitch markers, progress keepers. I think it's just a really sweet little item. So those will all be in the shop on Friday. So I think I am going to wrap up this video finally. I had a really fun three days, but I have a lot of work to do. So I'm probably going to be here in my studio for the next week, right up until the shop update, just finishing up. The only thing I have left to really do um, is just finish up installing zippers and pressing the Christmas bags and then packaging everything up. But I'm really looking forward to putting that shop update behind me because my plans for next weekend are to clean the house really well, start putting up our Christmas decorations, and then get ready for Vlogmas. I've decided that I will be participating in Vlogmas again this year, so I'm just going to get myself organized and put all of the work behind me that I can so that I can have a really fun month of December. So Vlogmas is where I will be posting daily videos, just day in the life snippets from December 1st until the 25th. I've got most of my advent calendars ready and I'm really excited to pull up my Christmas tree and decorate the mantle and all the little corners around the house. So I will say goodbye for now you can find all of the info of where you can find me, including my shop for the shop update down below. And I will see you guys on December 1st for Vlogmas. Mm -hmm.